Hey everybody, welcome into this week's episode of Tony's Spot on Fishing. I'm your host, Tony Krizek, and today we got a special treat for you. We're here at Bass Pro Shops in Bolingbrook, gearing up for the ice season. Just like you guys, we need all the brand new toys that we can get our hands on to be more productive out on the ice. This week's show, we want to actually highlight some of the great new products that they have here from power augers, jigs, heaters, the shanties, you name it, we're going to cover a wide variety of topics today and hear from some manufacturer reps as well about all the new great products. So let's get downstairs, let's get in, let's start talking and shopping. It's Bass Pro Shop's annual ice event this week on Tony's Spot on Fish. <laughs> Right now, I'm being joined by Damon Woodard. Damon, welcome on to the show. Thank you, sir. Pleasure to have you on. Pleasure to be with you, Tony. Right now, we want to talk about, if, if anybody you know, is a longtime follower of the show, you know I love Rapala baits. Uh, any other hard baits, I'm throwing them from shad wraps, clacking cranks, the husky jerks, you name it, I love Rapala baits. And even through the ice, we're still throwing Rapala baits. Now, the old standards, of course, your Rapala jig and wrap, and of course, even that's a little bit uh, newer, was the jig and shad wrap. Now these are your basic jig and wraps out of Rapala. Twitches of the rods will actually make them, make these baits dance. And we can actually get them to kind of almost swim in a circle. So when we jig them up, they'll kind of swim up. And when they fall, they'll kind of do a, a figure eight, almost a circle around the hole. Excellent bait, comes in a variety of sizes. Great for guys that are fishing perch with the smaller sizes. Walleye guys throw them, we love them downtown on the lakefront. For the, uh, for the browns and cohos through the ice and the steelhead. Excellent baits as well. We can fish them plain or we can tip them with live bait. But just a couple years ago, Rapala won up themselves, and that's what we're gonna talk about right now. All right, so in 2013, in the winter there, Rapala came out with the jig and snap wrap. It's a solid one-piece construction with the metal fin on the back as opposed to the old plastic fins on the back. A little bit more durable, more rigid. Has a little bit different action to it too on the fall. It tends to be a little more erratic, has a little more wobble to it, has a little wider spin on the circle. Lots of progress here with this bait. There's lots of success. I mean, name the species, it's caught the species. People fish it through the ice. On soft water, they'll fish it off the boat, jigging for perch and walleye on the, on the deeper water. It's, it's a pretty successful bait. It uh, comes in three different sizes. You got the six, the eight, and the five. That's excellent. And like you said, you know, we don't even have to use these strictly just in ice. Uh, situations where we do a jig and spoon or a blade bait, we can do a jig and wrap even in open water. So many thanks for coming on. Yeah. Thank Love you, the bait. Thanks, sir. Keep producing some good baits. We'll be right back with more Spot on Fishing. Right now I'm being joined by Corey Yarmuth. Corey, welcome to Spot on Fishing, man. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure. Uh, again, my name is Corey Yarmuth. I'm a Clam Pro with Clam Outdoors. We're sitting here in one of the Jason Mitchell Legend Thermal X shelters. Um, too bad we're not on the ice right now. It'd be great if we were on the ice, but right now we're in the Bass Pro Shops in Bolingbrook, and we're showing off some of our product today, one of them being the Jason Mitchell Thermal. Um, this unit here comes with a extruded polymer sled that's got a gray interior 600 denier shelter um, fabric it has the built-in light bar as you can see we're nice and lit up in here so anytime we're running the night fish or if it's cloudy day we needed a little extra light for some of us older guys can't see the light very well uh, it helps tying jigs we've got a full line of products our new catalog this year has everything from our clam drop jigs to our pro tackle, new rods and reels. Uh, one of the, the great things this year is our standard blue ice armor jackets and suits. In the years past, we've always sold them in a kit. Well, I mean, for bigger guys like yourself and myself, we might take a larger jacket, maybe a smaller pair of pants. This year, we started selling them as individuals. 
That way, if you just want a jacket and you've got a pair of bibs that you're more comfortable in, you can come out and buy yourself a nice edge parka and use whatever bibs you're comfortable in or vice versa. A little bit more about this sled. All these poles collapse. What's really great about it is we have a built-in middle bucket here. It's a middle bucket holder. When we go to travel, we just flip it over and now we've got the middle bucket in place so we can travel. Our minnows aren't flopping all over the place. We've got a beautiful, you know, beautiful little caddy here. It puts our jigs right at close to our soda if we have or water on the ice. Uh, we've got a bigger compartment back here where we're allowed to keep our, our instant tackle right in our hands. Plenty of room in the tub for all of your supplies. We've got a rear entry. So if we've got the thermal, the heater going in here, we can open up this, we can look back, check on tip-ups if we're looking, if we're running tip-ups. It fully flips up. We can flip it up halfway. We can flip it all the way back. It, it, it's a little heavy for the average fisherman to pull by himself. It's, it comes in about 117 pounds. But if you've got a sled or if you've got a, an ATV, it's just ideal. If you're looking for something a little bit lighter, uh, we do have at the Bass Pro Shops here, we've got the Scout Thermal, which is a one-man shelter, which I personally use myself. Uh, it's plenty of room for, for even big guys like myself and, and you where we can get fishable area and do plenty of fishing, have room for our heater, have room for our flasher. Um, this unit itself has 27 square feet of fishable area which is plenty big as you can see. I can fish multiple holes, we can fish two guys. If we wanted to, we could fish three. We could fish a couple kids in buckets in here. And that's one of the things that I like to get across to, to, to people is, is ice fishing isn't just about us that are diehard ice fishermen. It's key to bring our kids out onto the ice with them, teach them about safety, teach them about uh, how to, to, to catch fish on the ice, and how to have fun. I mean, kids have a very short ascension span, but when you've got them out on the ice and you got them in here and you got a flasher, and it's kind of like a video game. Yeah. It's the best way to explain it. They, Absolutely. It's like a video game, and, then they, and there's nothing like seeing the look on their face when they pull a fish up, and it maybe it's their fish for her fish through the ice ever, and the smile is just incredible. Yeah. And I, I don't know about you, but he, I can catch a a five inch bluegill and I still giggle like a little schoolboy just oh, yeah. because you know I'm out on the ice I'm having fun um, I'm prepared and that's one of the keys to ice fishing is be prepared both on a safety level yeah. and a comfort level um, I'll be giving seminars during the day today as well as at, at many events talking about being mobile on the ice and talk about dressing for the ice. It's really key for anybody that goes out ice fishing to dress properly. Absolutely. Because if you get cold, then you lose the interest. You, you don't have fun. And that's key to fishing. The biggest thing is have fun. And that's why they call it fishing and not yeah. catching. And I think too, you know, having the shanties like these, you know, it'll keep the wind off you, which will definitely yeah. help keep you warm. These being the, the thermal models as well, you know, is going to help keep you warmer. You can put your little heater buddies in here and, yes. you know, you'd be fine, really. But yes. and it's amazing with, with the, the advancement in shelters nowadays that you can sit in here and just sitting in here in the store for the amount of time, I can feel that the temperature is raised a few degrees oh, yeah. with the thermal. And you don't even necessarily have to have a heater in a lot of these units. A lot of times, like in my case, I use my shelter mostly to carry my gear. But it's great when you're out there and maybe you're out there with another uh, couple of kids and one of them gets cold. Instead of ruining their whole day, you flip them, you put them in the shelter, turn the heater on, they warm up, have them hot chocolate, and they get to fish and play their, their fishing video game with the flasher. And it's just, it's, it doesn't get any better than that. Absolutely. And unfortunately, I, I tried drilling through this concrete, and it didn't work. <laughs> and they won't let me set the shanty up on top of the, 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 the pond to try to catch some fish. But 
you know, we're here today at Bass Pro Shops in Bolingbrook, just having a really good time talking fishing. And talking fishing is, is almost as good as actually doing it. It is. Especially when you're talking to people that don't get the chance to do it as often as they, they like. Absolutely. Well, hey, let's go take a look at that uh, ice auger adapter you guys got. Yes, I'd love to. I'd love to show you that. Now this, I've got to know more about, because I myself run hand augers, and I'll tell you, especially when we start going through ice that's eight inches thick, 10 inches thick, sometimes in the harbors downtown in Chicago where we're perch fishing, we're going through a foot or more, this has definitely got my attention. This, this is the, can, the clam drill adapter plate. Um, it came out last year. This year we've actually uh, improved it a little bit by rubberizing the grips. Unfortunately, this is last year's model, but it's the same principle. We've actually gone and taken this to the next level of hand augers. So now I'm able to run a cordless drill and run over 700 inches of ice on a single battery. Wow. And that doesn't matter if it's seven inches thick or a foot and a half thick. I'm running a, a six inch flighting on here. And what's really nice is I've got a thumb grip. I'm spinning. <laughs> It's faster than a power auger, it's quiet, and what's really nice about it is I can put just about any drill I want, or excuse me, flighting I want on this. In this case, this is a clam, six inch flighting. If I wanted to, I could change it down to a five inch, a four inch for panfish. What's great about this unit is everybody has, or they've seen the adapter that you chuck into the drill, and everybody's, cracked their, their, their waist on the, the handle or jerked their wrist. This, you have two hands holding at all times. The torque of the drill actually is taken and distributed through the shaft. We actually designed it to where the shaft of the drill, you can remove the chuck, put the shaft onto your drill, and this shaft actually attaches through a bearing. Huh. This bearing system now takes all of that pressure. Sure. So anytime you might be going and you might hit some ice like this, that would just damage any drill. They're not made for that. Right. In this case, we have the bearing in here and this pillow block bearing actually takes all of that force. That's perfect. So it's very easy, simple to do, inexpensive when you're looking at gas augers sure. compared to this. It's light. You can feel how light that is. Oh, it is. That in, really isn't it, much of anything. In my case, I have an extension on here that allows me to extend it up to 18 inches. You don't necessarily need that extension. Mm -hmm. I put it on here just to show off so people here at Bass Pro Shops could see the different options. Yeah. But if you squeeze the trigger on it, you can feel how easy it is. And when you've got a good sharp auger, with any time you're augering, whether you're doing a gas, whether you're doing electric, or you're doing hand, a sharp auger is key because the auger is doing the work. Exactly. You shouldn't be doing the work. You're just holding it while it drills and while it cuts. In this case, Clam 2 this year has brought out the Cold Snap cover. Cold Snap Outdoors has made it adaptable for a six inch. So if I want to drill a hole, I just step cool. on it, I can drill, drill, when I'm done, that. I just put my cover back on. I don't have to put my hands anywhere near sure. those blades. And we all know how sharp those blades are. Oh yeah. And unfortunately, I speak from experience, I've got scars of oh, yeah. putting my cover on and dropping my auger. So Clam Outdoors drill adapter plate, you can get them here at Bass Pro Shops. You can get them at most retailers and online, but Bass Pro Shops, uh, and Bowingbrook here has a really good selection of them. That is very cool. Very, very cool. Well, I'll tell you what, if you got some time, let's take a look at a couple of those other shanties we talked about. Let's yeah. get some features, benefits of those guys, too. That would be great. Excellent. Now, Corey, which model are we looking at here? This here is the Vista Thermal. This is one of our hub-style shelters. When I say hub, it's, it's, it's actually very easy to collapse and, and assemble. You know, it all folds down into one unit. Our hub is, is basically designed for the fisherman that wants to set up an area, spend some time in that one area, or maybe set up base camp. Set it up, 
It's a 600 denier fabric. It's a thermal insulated. It's very easy to take down. The poles just snap in and out. So we're able to push it down from all four sides and then the top and it just pops right back out. If it's on windy days, we have tie down straps that we put some anchors in the ice, sure. tie it down. It's great. It's got a lot of room. You can fit four or five people in here okay. fishing. We've actually used it out on the ice for uh, cooking yeah. where we go in, have a little break from the, from the weather, spend some time in the, in the, the Vista. Uh, the Vista Thermal, it, it's, it's really light. It only weighs 39 pounds, so I can throw it in its pack. I can throw it on my back, carry it out with me, set it up. If the, you got a kids again with the kids, sure. if you got kids out with you, they get to the, the, to play in the in the, the the Vista. We also have some of the bigger ones, like the one over here, the Bigfoot, which is also a thermal. Again, it's a hub style shelter where you set it up, you, you have it in a, a particular area, and then when you need to move it, you can just carry it with you, or you can break it down and throw it over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Um, I do recommend that you do secure it to the ice, especially on windy days. Uh, you don't want to be chasing after your shanty because a big gust of wind took it away. Sure. Same thing goes with any of our portables. Uh, anytime you get a big gust of wind, you, you always have the chance of having your, your shelter and all your, your equipment going everywhere. So it's a good idea to, to keep things anchored down and, and uh, you know, keep secure. But the Vista Thermal, we also make the Vista in a non-thermal. So it's, it's still the 600 denier fabric. It, it's, it just ha it doesn't have the thermal quilting. Um, the Bigfoot XL4000T is also in a thermal. And this is a lot larger. It can, it can go from four to six anglers. It's a little heavier. It comes in at 42 pounds. But again, it's, it's quick, easy setup. Like I said, the poles, you push in. You pull out, simple snap. It's easier than putting up a tent. I know people that actually use this for camping. Sure. It's just like it. a tent. Yeah. Absolutely. That is awesome. Well, Corey, I know you got some seminars you got to do here, man. I appreciate you coming well, I on. I appreciate the time. I really yeah. do. And, you know, I appreciate what you're doing. Keep on doing it. And, you know, again, like I said before, the future of our sports and with our kids. Absolutely. So, man. you know, if you're out there, Make sure those, those kids learn the ropes the right way, learn ethical sportsmanship, and, and just have fun. Absolutely. I agree, man. Thank you so much. That was Thank a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, the one thing we talked about just a little earlier in the program was the heaters. Now, these little portable heaters will definitely help on those brutally cold days. The uh, insulated shanties, the thermal shanties, they will indeed hold in some of your own body heat and help keep you warm. But I'll tell you what, when you get those days where the wind's howling, it's negative digits outside, that's where these little heaters come into play. And you can get them here at Bass Pro Shop or any other fine retailer. But it's the Mr. Heater Portable Heater Buddies. Now let me tell you something, they're about 100 bucks, but it's about the best money you can buy to keep you warm in that shanty. Uh, they run just on these little propane tanks here. And basically we just hook them right on up and the, the length on them is unreal. We can run them on high and almost out of a full canister, get a full day on the ice in the shanty with it. And you'll find yourself, if you have a smaller shanty, that smaller size, but if you're gonna go one of those real big open size, that's where we'll upgrade. So we'll do a 6,000 to, to 12,000 BTUs on those real big shanties. But if you got a one man or just a smaller two man, you can do 4,000 to 9,000 BTUs. It'll keep you real warm, nice and roasty toasty on those real cold days. Probably one of the most important pieces of information or pieces of, uh, of equipment you can have is that little portable heater. I'll tell you what, it keeps you warm. You can take off the heavy jacket and just be in there with, your, with a sweatshirt, your snow pants and a pair of boots. You're not really confined to that real big jacket. So definitely when you're on the ice, if you got a shanty, look into getting one of those portable heaters. Now we saw from Clam that they have the new adapters that can go on the hand augers. And honestly, that is something I definitely want to get to be using this year. 
Uh, for the simple fact, I've always shied away from the power augers, having to mix the gas and oil on the ice. It's always been kind of a pain to me. So I've always just ran a hand auger. But let me tell you, when you start getting into that real thick ice, a foot or more, you really do start dreaming of getting a power auger. Well, let me tell you, Bass Pro's got an item here that'll give you a power auger, all the torque and power, without all the mess. It's actually propane powered. And it's actually by Eskimo. It comes in an 8-inch and 10-inch models. And these things are really cool. Your propane tanks can mount right here into the unit. All you have to do is simply just hook up your propane hookup into your tank, and you're off and running. This gives you all the torque and power of a gas-powered one without the mess and hassle of mixing oil. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a big, heavy-powered auger to go through about a foot or more, 14 inches, start looking towards these new propane ones. This is awesome. Right now, what we want to do is take a minute and talk about some of the really cool brand new ice jigs that Bass Pro Shop in Bolingbrook is carrying. Now, these jigs we can use anywhere from perch, bluegills, and crappies, walleyes, trout species. Um, they've got a lot of cool new toys, and we just want to take a few minutes and highlight some of the really best of the best of the new stuff. Now, when we were talking with Corey from Clam, he mentioned some of the jigs that uh, are new this year and that Bass Pro is now carrying. The first one we want to talk about, the Dave Gens Dingle Drop. Now what's really cool about this bait is it's, it's a tungsten material instead of lead. So what's nice about tungsten, it's heavier but not as, uh, not as big. So we can get more weight in a smaller, more compact profile. It also features a little rattle on it as well, so as we're jiggling, jigging it, it's actually going to be making some noise. Now, one of the reasons we like to do tungsten, especially when your panfish species are a little bit more uh, lackadaisical, is when we actually hit the bottom with it, because tungsten is more dense, you're going to get a little more of a, a cloud coming up off the bottom, and it'll get those panfish to come in and just see exactly what it is that's causing all the commotion. Plus, especially guys fishing open water suspended fish, we can still have a small profile, but also have a little heavier weight to it. The next one as well from Clam, the Dave Gens, the Half Ant Drop. Now what's really cool about this, it's kind of like a triple beaded body design, um, and it is tungsten as well, but it has a little flashy, almost uh, like a cubic zirconia type insert in there, which really just kind of gives that fisheye flash a little bit. Great for you guys that are fishing bluegills and crappies. Um, excellent bait, tipping them with wax worms. The next one we want to talk about is actually from Stick Cuts, the Smelt Stick. Now what's cool about this bait is it's painted various colors on one side, but the back side of them is a glow pattern. Now what's really awesome about this, it's a lot of flash, a lot of flutter, and especially you get the painted side, and then you'll also have that glow-in-the-dark paint on the back side, so you get a little bit of different color contrast to it as well. The smelt stick also has a single gold Aberdeen hook, which is actually suspended off the bait by a small gold chain. So we can go ahead and tip that with a, with a minnow, we can put a couple wax worms to it, we can put a piece of crawler on it. Excellent bait when we're uh, vertical jigging for walleyes, big perch, uh, even downtown on the lakefront uh, for the brown trout and the steelhead through the ice. Cohos as well, excellent bait, but excellent walleye pattern, great for the big perch as well downtown. And the last one that's been making all the commotion lately is actually from Lindy. It's the Lindy Perch Talker. Now the Perch Talker is pretty wild looking. It's got uh, about four beads on it and three metal plates. Now those metal plates, what they'll actually do is displace water have a little bit of flash as well, and then the beads and the bodies coming together actually make some noise. Suspended off of a chain with a treble hook. Now we can go ahead and tip this with a minnow. Excellent for the perch. Not only through the ice. We've been getting a lot of reports now, guys off Navy Pier that are actually fishing this setup in the open water and are starting to catch fish. So it's one of those versatile baits that can be used not only in the ice season, but also in the open water months as well. So definitely be sure to come in and grab them. They're running out of this very quickly downstairs. The Lindy Perch Talker. Excellent for those guys fishing perch. You can probably even catch walleyes with it. But that's a handful of the new baits that they have here at Bass Pro Shops in Bolingbrook. Come on by and look at all of them. We've got everything from uh, 
the, your Dave Gentz products, Lindy, Rapala, uh, Custom Jigs and Spins, it's all down there. All your ice fishing needs, Bass Pro Shops and Bolingbrook, they're the place to come to get all your ice fishing gear. What we want to do right now is just take a minute or two to talk about some of the ice rods and reels that are out here. And there, there's quite a few options and many different price points for you guys that are just first starting out nice fishing and want to try it for the very first time. You don't have to go too high in price with it. You can get combos anywhere from $15 to $20, and they can range up to just as in open water setups, you know, up into the $100 price point ranges. But one we really like to showcase that we like to use quite a bit is actually from St. Croix. It's their Premier Series. It's a high modulus graphite rod, good sensitivity, comes in light action, medium light, medium as well, and also is comboed up with a St. Croix reel, features three bearings, and also uh, very good. It has a, a specially formulated grease in there as well to fight off the ice buildup from dealing with water and cold conditions. The whole combo retails for $54.99. And really, in that price point, it is excellent. Great feel, lightweight, you can fish them all day. But once again, there's price points all through any, uh, any area, from 20 bucks up to, to 100 bucks, and anywhere in between. So come on down to Bass Pro. You'll find all your rod and reel combinations right here in the ice fishing section. Right now, I'm joined by one of Bass Pro's very own, one of their finest, John Miller. John, welcome Howdy. to the show. Thank you. Nice Thank to be here. You. Excellent, man. Hey. You know what, we, we talked with some of the other manufacturers here, but Bass Pro has their own line of gear for the ice fishermen. Why, you know, can you tell us a little bit about it? Just like the shanties here, uh, what makes uh, some of the benefits of the Extreme Ice Angler? Well, the Ice Angler, uh, the Extreme Arctic Angler is a, uh, at least the price point is great at $200. Um, it's not insulated like some of the other brands are, but for, again, price point, 200 bucks is great. Um, it's black on the inside, so that actually helps cut down on, um, on glare. It's easier to sight fish, and uh, it'll absorb the heat from the sun a little bit better, where you have the black top here, and uh, it'll stay pretty warm in a sunny day. Um, very, very easy to take down, just like all the other hubs out there. You would push the sides in, and once you, once you get two sides in, she'll just kind of want to drop down for you real easy folds in half, fits into a bag, and um, very compact, easy to carry around. I think it comes in around 26 or 28 pounds. <clears throat> comes with ice anchors as well, so on a windy day, it'll, uh, on a windy day, you can, you can anchor it down and she won't go flying away on you. Um, it'll hold uh, plenty of gear in here with two guys or three guys. You also have some pockets on the inside to store things, as well as these windows, or you can cover these windows up. And um, again, another nice thing too is the ventilation system on here. You can either open the vent up or keep it closed, and the one on each side. And again, they also have flaps on the inside so you can stop the wind from coming in if it's too windy. That's excellent. And you know, like you say, for the price point, the guy that's just getting started in ice fishing, uh, you know, if he's getting his feet wet for the first time and doesn't want to jump into a, a $400 or $500 unit, can, this is a great option for him. And even for a seasoned guy, you know, it can even be said here in the Chicagoland area, we've had ice seasons that may only be a month long. We've had last winter was quite a few months, but you just never know even being in this section of the country. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Tony, you hit it on the head. I mean, and it's, it, it's very nice and light. You can pack it into a little subdivision pond and, yeah. you know, just throw it in your little jet sled and be on your way. Absolutely. Now, a couple other Bass Pro items that are real nice for you guys. Let's talk a little bit about this. This is the Bass Pro XL Ice Monofilament as well as the fluorocarbon. Now, what's some of the, the features and benefits of these, these lines? Um, I like the, uh, the monofilament. It has, like, a smoke color to it, so it's a little bit easier to see on the out on you know, um, on the top side of the ice, it, you know, it doesn't really blend in with the, the white background of the ice and snow. So you can kind of see it on that, um, again, on the top side, but on the, uh, below the ice, it's, it's fairly invisible. Mm -hmm. So, and then the fluorocarbon, just like any fluoro, it's, it's very clear and, you know, it, it, I, I like to couple a fluorocarbon leader with my main line, to, again, for that, that stealthy approach. Absolutely. And one other item here we want to talk about, and these are actually the tip-ups I myself run. These are the Bass Pro tip-ups, the, the Bigfoot wood tip-ups. 
And uh, I'll tell you what, what I really like about it is just having that wider base, they're real stable units. Definitely, definitely, and very easy to set up. Again, you just pull this up like this. She just clips down here and tip up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are, these are nice and smooth too. And the, again, they collapse down to nothing. Fit 10 of them in a bucket, no problem. Yeah, like I said, I've had mine now, probably running them for about the fifth or sixth season now. They're very durable, they hold up well, no issues at all. One of my favorite tip-ups to run. Yeah. Well, John, thanks for coming on the show, man. I appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me, Tony. Excellent. Now all we need is some safe ice. That's right. All That's right. right. And the rain to stop. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get that ice here real soon. That's about all the time we have for this week, everybody. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode and seeing some of the new toys that uh, are out on the market for the ice fishing season. It's certainly shaping up to be a great year on the ice with all this new gear. We'd like to say a very special thank you to Bass Pro Shops in Bolingbrook. Brian Lemire and Kevin Cheshire and their entire staff here has made us very welcome. Also, very special thank you to all the reps and staff members here who appeared on the show today to talk about these great new products. We truly appreciate them bringing their knowledge and love and passion of the great outdoors to our viewing audience. Hey guys, we got to get ready. Ice is forming. We're getting warmed up, ready to go. We're hoping to have some great ice shoots coming up very shortly, so keep checking back for all the great action from the ice. That's all the time for this week. Once again, I'm Tony Krizak. We'll see you guys out on the water.